Hello student, welcome to the lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the, our course code that is CH402. In that, we are going to discuss our first chapter that is isomerism in coordination complexes. As we were all very well known that isomerism is proposed or the coordination theory is proposed by Werner on the basis of evidence of his study. Coordination complexes show different types of isomerism. So, in that lecture, we are going to discuss the isomerism and there are various types of isomerism. In this chapter, we will discuss isomerism and their types, different types of isomerism. So, firstly, isomerism is nothing but the complexes having same chemical formula but different structural arrangement and the phenomena is known as a isomerism. So, first we are discuss what is meant by the isomerism. Isomerism means the complexes having same chemical formula but different structural arrangement arrangement and the phenomena is known as a isomerism is known as isomerism So, there are different types of isomerism. There are various isomerism in coordination number 4 and coordination number 6. So, let's discuss the types of isomerism. So, we can see that the generally isomerism is observed. In coordination number 4 and coordination number 6, and coordination number 6, so depending upon the Depending upon that isomerism which is observed in coordination number 4 and coordination 6, there will be the different types of isomerism. So, we we'll discuss in mainly divided into two types that is first structural isomerism. And second, that is a so the isomerism is mainly divided into two that is structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. Again, this structural isomerism and stereoisomerism will be divided into many types. So, let's discuss in detail the types of structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. First, we know that there is a structural isomerism. And second one that is stereoisomerism. So, this structural isomerism is divided into first that is 
polarization isomerism. Second, that is hydrate isomerism. Then third, that is linkage isomerism. That is again polymerization isomerism. This all types we including in structural isomerism. So this all types we will discuss in detail later. Uh, before that we are going to discuss what are the various types of stereoisomer will be divided into two types that is first that is geometrical isomerism in that and second that is that is optical isomerism. This geometrical isomerism will be divided into two types that is cis and trans. And this optical isomerism will be divided into again two types that is Dextro and Leorogenery. So, Rotogenery and Leo Rotogenery. So, this is the different types of isomerism which is generally observed in complexes. So there will be the two main types of isomerism that is structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. Structural isomerism will be divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 isomerism. It will be, there are 6 types of structural isomerism including ionization isomerism, hydrate isomerism, linkage isomerism, ligand isomerism, coordination position isomerism and polymerization isomerism. And in stereoisomerism, it will be divided into two types that is geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism. Geometrical isomerism is again, again have a two types that is cis isomer and trans isomer. Whereas in optical isomer, there will be again two types that is dextro rotatory and leo rotatory. So, first we are going to discuss the various types of structural isomerism that is ionization isomerism. So in first place we will discuss the ionization isomerism. So let's discuss the ionization isomerism. Ionization isomerism means there is a two coordination compounds. Compounds. Differing differing the distribution of ions between distribution of ions between those directly. coordinated and counter ions 
present in the crystal structure is known as crystal structure is known as ionization isomerism So the example of that ionization isomerism is This is a pentamine cobalt bromide com comal, cobalt bromide complex and we can write it as like also so if you observe that in first coordination complex the complex will be the same but there will be there are just different structural arrangement in first complex that is in first complex that is bearing br group is in coordination sphere whereas in second in second coordination complexes the so4 is in coordination sphere and bromine is out of coordination sphere so if you observe the position of br in first coordination sphere and in second, you can easily identify that the BR is in first coordination complexes, is in inner side, whereas in second coordination compound, BR is in outside, means that it is in a counter ion. So, here on the basis of this position, we can say that this is an ionization isomerism. Now, there are different examples. Of this ionization isomerism. Instead of Br, we can also take an as an chlorine. Any group which just show the position here and the position of this chlorine here. In first coordination compound, the chlorine is in outer side, sorry, in inner side and in second coordination compound, the chlorine is in outer side, means it is an out of sphere. So, this is a, these two compounds are called the isomerism, ionization isomerism of each other. So, this is a ionization isomerism. Now, let's discuss what is a hydrate isomerism. Second type that is hydrate isomerism. Hydrate isomerism itself indicates there is an isomerism in between the water molecule in between two coordination spheres. So let's discuss hydrate isomerism in detail. Hydrate isomerism is nothing but the compound form. from the same complex complex molecule with the water same number of water molecules 
which are present either as water of crystallization or attached to central metal ion wholly or partly means completely or partly alcohol hydrate isomerism now the example of that at hydrate isomerism is again there will be the water complex that is chromium hexaco chloride so this is a hexaco chromium chloride complex complex it can write as like also that is this is five water molecules cl2 again it can be write as like four cl2 cl so if you observe this three complexes these are the same one but it have a just structural arrangement is different over here so if you observe these three complexes in first that is the number of water ligand is a 6 here that is a 5 and this is a 4 for acquiring the coordinate or the coordination number 6 it will be just partly or wholly attached to the central metal atom if you reduce the one water molecule from here means it is a five water molecule there will be one chlorine so that is a number of ligand here is a six also this is a six and again that is a four water and two chlorine that is again six means that here the water molecule is just coordinated or partly or wholly attached to the central metal atom and for maintain or for acquiring the coordination number it will be satisfied for satisfying the coordination number then ions will be exchanged with the number so like that here this is a type of hydrate isomerism as you can easily see from that example so from it so this is a hydrate isomerism now we will stop here in next lecture we are going to discuss the linkage isomerism thank you